Beetle Bum, Beetle Bum, two six one. Pick up your phone and join in the fun on three five three eight one one one. Sunday nights are made for you with Beetle Bum and all the crew. It's quiz and competition time. You better not leave your brains behind. A sense of the ridiculous comes in fine. Stand by your radios or get in the line to Beetle Bum, Beetle Bum, beep beep. beep. Right, okay, now, I'm assuming we're on air. Jeremy James, Andy Gibson, Beetle Bum here. Three five three eight double one uh, one nine two eight, wherever it is. Now, listen, what I'm trying to tell you is that we are going to have to get off this tube in a minute, which is going to be a bit embarrassing. For those of you who've got no idea what the hell is happening, that makes two of us, which is here, He's looking like a cross between Sherpa Ten Singh and Dan Dare at the moment. He's armed with all this electronic equipment on his back. And we're down in the tube uh, because we were doing the world's first phone-in <coughs> in a car and giving away tracksuits to people who stopped us. Incidentally, we gave away seven tracksuits to the people who'd found us. Uh, we were then heading for the uh, uh, speaker's corner. The car's broken down. We've conned the guy into giving us lift to the tube station. We've jumped on the central line. We're now busily heading towards the city and uh, on the tube. And um, that's a wet one. And uh, we are going to have to get off in a minute. So I don't quite know what's going to happen there. But can we, will we be able to broadcast, Butch, as we carry on? No, we won't. But we're, we're going, we'll be, get off at the next station, in fact. So. What, uh, I'm assured that the car will be there to meet us, so yeah. we'll take a little break between and uh, then we'll dash back to the studio and hopefully finish the programme of the studio. Right, OK. Uh, shall, uh, shall we go to Angela? Yes. yes yeah, OK. So. Angela? Hello. <coughs> Angela? Yeah. Sorry about this, this is a bit confused, this tonight's programme, but you must admit it's live action. Ah, uh, see, see, anybody can do a sensible programme, can't they? That's true. Now, have you got an awkward way? Uh, this programme is actually done on easy terms. You can get credit facilities to tune in. <laughs> I, I, panting, I, I'm told he's panting his way back to the studio, and I've been told just to talk until he gets here. So, <clears throat> anyway, a live phone-in from a tube train. That is something that I have never heard before. I thought it was great fun. I don't know what everybody else thought. But um, the engineer out there is looking very perplexed, and he's sort of pushing buttons madly and trying to trying to raise he's trying to raise Jeremy at the moment. But I don't think Jeremy is going to be able to answer us. No, no, Jeremy isn't about. No, where is he? Do we know where Jeremy is? We have no idea where Jeremy is. Perhaps he's panting down the stairs at this very moment. Well, until until Jeremy actually arrives in the studio, we are actually going to uh, play some music. Shut up, you miserable brat. Hello, who's this? Andy. Hi, Andy, how are you, mate? Hi. What's Williams doing? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, we just... What's going on? Well, you see, you got lost, so I thought I'd take over. They just told me, they just told me they cut me off. Well, I mean, it's not surprising, are we, is it? Are we, yeah, we, we are I right. thought that... I thought you were playing music. I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, hi. <clears> hi. <throat> Jeremy James, Andy Gibson, Beetlebum here. Who's speaking? Andy. Hello, Andy. How are you? Did you say hello to Hugh? I did indeed. Hey, thanks very much indeed, Hugh. Well, that's all right. You know, friend in need. That's terrific. What's... Uh, sorry, can you explain... Because we've just been rushed from the tube station by car that's broken every law in the book, I might add. And uh, um, they just got us in here. But what's been happening? Well, we didn't I mean, hear them. We, 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 we just missed about you, four minutes. See, we lost you. Immediately, yeah. you. immediately you got out of the tube, we lost you. Yeah. And um, sort of, you know, we were wondering what on earth was going on. The engineer here sort of, you know, dragged, Tim? Me, dragged me out of... Yes, Tim, he dragged me out of... Hi, Tim! He dragged me out of my pit and said, Hey, you've got to take over, boy. So oh. I sort of thought I sort of stole down and talked to people until you eventually emerged. I thought you might have got run over or something. Me? Listen, Pushed son. Pushed under a tube train? A car? Roll me over, son. Takes more than a car to knock me down, I tell you. A woman. Oh. Right, OK, listen, Hugh, that's really kind of... So this is Andy on the line. This is Andy, yes. Right, Andy, what are you ringing to tell us? And he was having a right old meal. It was like a sort of... You know, it, it, it was like a steakhouse. Yeah? He was sitting there and tearing into his poor little thumb. <laughs> it looked like a, you know, it's... it's, it's oh, well, you know, 
You mustn't let your Frankfurter rule your life, but I'm not kidding you, this was ridiculous. <laughs> and, right, my mate's in the other room. Yeah. Um, uh, our portable transmission onto our uh, studio transmission, we have young Tim, the engineer, is having slight problems in there. So, uh, I've got to be joking. Let me tell you what I'm going to do next week. I think the only reason I won't do this one next week, I'm seriously tempted to do it, but I wanted to put an advert uh, in uh, a magazine that specialised in Lonely Hearts adverts. Did... <laughs> well, did you hear that? Uh, <laughs> there are several people out <laughs> there, apparently. Uh, it's like... Uh, be... <laughs> ah! Well, listen, guys, uh, this is Jeremy James, and he gives some Beetlebum. I think I will be doing that. That was an idea given to me by Tony Elliott. And, uh, right, anyway, this is Jeremy James, and he gives some Beetlebum. I'm sorry for the last few callers. We've had trouble with the lines there, and I've just been prattling on forever more. So forgive me. It's been smashing to uh, talk to everybody. Thank you for listening and being so nice. Next week, I don't know. I, shall I do? Shall I do that sex program next week then on how to meet people? We'll think about it. Oh, but you are so decisive. We'll be thinking about that. So this is Jeremy James and he gives some beetle ones. Thank you very much indeed for listening. It's been great fun talking to you all. I, I want to know whether. Anybody was ever listening. Hey, listen, Sensation Seekers, if there's one thing in the world I really want you to know, it's...